Hello, I'm Crystal. I'm currently a graduate student from Bar College, Bar Conservatory in upstate New York. And today, I'm gonna introduce you the instrument called viola. So viola, it looks I don't know what it's violins. I know everybody knows violins, right? And the differences are the size, the tone, and also the ring. No, I'm just kidding. But like in general, violas has um larger sizes and also longer bows. Um what others? And we have different strings. We have a lower C string and we don't have the E string, the high E, the violin half, but we don't have it. Um so I'm gonna talk about uh, every difference is in detail now. So the first difference is the size, right? So my viola is 16 inches. Um, the standard size for viola is usually ranging from 15 inches to 17 inches. And I know a lot of violists love to play 17 inches because it has really viola sounds. What do, you, what do I mean is it has really beautiful tone, the viola tone and the, you you have better projection of the sound if your instrument is bigger like if you have I don't know yeah so anyway so the that's the first difference is the size uh, when I was younger I played 15 inches and it really depends on your arm the like depends it really depends on the length of your arm so like my arm is perfect fit for 16 inches or, or lower be, or below 17 inches. 17 inches is, is too big for me. I feel it's always quite hard when you have really big instrument. You need to put a lot of weight. When once I pick up violin, it's my weight is always really heavier than what I was expecting because violin, you don't need to uh, put so much pressure on your bow, so it's easier to play, uh, but the skills are different. So the second difference here is the bow. Usually viola bows are longer and heavier. So the reason for that is we need heavier bow since our instrument is larger, so we need more pressure and also more weight in order to project the sound at the end of the whole, the audience can still hear clearly. Um, the third difference is the strings. So we have four strings. Uh, the first is A, B, G, C. The violin, we have uh, these three strings, A, B, G, the same as violins but we have extra C strings. Uh, but the violin has E string we don't have. Um, so that's the string difference. And right now I want to talk about different tones and different sounds you can produce on your viola instruments. And you can hear all these kind of different combination of sounds and the use of the position of both on your Viola in orchestra concerts or even solo concerts, chamber music, all kinds of concert involving viola. You can hear all these kind of combinations. So, so we can play really close to the bridge. So it will produce the sounds like this. So this is like how kind of scary, spooky, but this is the tone and a lot you can hear in a lot of orchestra pieces. Uh, the second the second kind of tone you can produce on your instrument is you can play really close to a fingerboard. So it will sound like this. Pretty smooth and a breezy sound. 
like winds coming by, coming by. And the third one you can produce is just very legato sound. So. <laughs> This kind of sound and the fur the fourth one you can have is um really short ceasing notes like this. Um and so for when you go to a viola concert or no, I'll call this part. So we, in general, you also hear a lot of uh, people talking about down bow, up bow. It just this is called down bow. The bow is going down and up bow. So I want to talk about um where where are violas sitting in orchestra. So violas violas usually sitting in the middle of orchestra. Uh, uh, conventionally, the reason for that is violas are usually center of harmony, and also we usually are the lutes, the the lutes of the chord, and a lot of time we even doubling, um, we even doubling or coupling second violins, and we also maintain a lot of rhythms in orchestra, so we have very important metronome too. Same as sometimes as cellos too, um, yeah. And in terms of range, violas are range in between violins and cellos. Um, yeah. So this is basically it. And I think for learning violas, the, the really important thing is why I learned viola is viola is really beautiful instrument and. It has the most human voice. Like I feel like it's very. I don't know. Like you are, you are producing a sound like like humans, like human talking. So that's why I really like playing violas. And I hope you guys enjoy the video. Thank you. I will see you next time.